Learn how to use this amazing iOS app to downgrade App Store apps to any older version without even a computer or jailbreak and even works on the latest iOS 26 on both iPhone and iPad. So let's begin the tutorial. Let's start off by launching a web browser and visiting this GitHub page. Link will be in description. The name of the app is Pancake Store, and as per the website, it's compatible to work with iOS 16.4 and beyond, even iOS 26. And before we proceed, please go through the warning for using this app. So scroll down to the bottom and tap on the releases section. On the next page, under the assets section, tap on this IPA file to download the file into your iOS device. And to sideload this IPA file, I will be using SideStore, but you can also use tools like Sideloadly, AltStore, Plume Impactor, and even without computer methods like eSign, KSign, FeatherApp. And for the tutorial, I have covered all these in my videos. All the links will be in description. For Side Store, I will tap on this plus icon and locate the Pancake Store IPA file and select it to sideload the same. Once sideloaded, let's cover how to properly use the Pancake Store app. Launch the Pancake Store app and here, enter your Apple ID and password. Use the same Apple ID, which is logged into to your device and to the App Store and tap on send two-factor authentication code and you should receive a two-factor authentication code. But if you do not receive any two-factor authentication code, then simply enter any random six-digit code and simply continue. Trust me, it works. Once you are logged into Pancake Store successfully, let's start the downgrading process. For the demonstration, I will use the InShot app. Let's launch the InShot app, and as you can see, I have already a video saved as draft, which I am working on, so I will downgrade this app without any data loss. To do so, first launch the Settings app and navigate to General, and then to iPhone Storage. Now search for the Target app, in my case, it's the InShot app. You can see here that the latest version is 1.92.1, so if you want to restore data after downgrading, make sure to only offload the app and do not uninstall it. Once offloaded, head over to the App Store and locate the Target app here. And by the way, if you're still watching, then do subscribe to my channel and like this video. The current version is 1.92.1, which I showed earlier as well. Now tap on this share icon here and simply copy the link of the Target app. Next, launch the Pancake Store and just paste the copied link into this field. And then finally tap on Downgrade App. Tap on Server option when you get this pop-up, but if it does not work, then try the manual method. It will list out all the version's history of the app. Select any of the version from the list to downgrade to that specific version. As you can see here, it says that the downgrading process has started, and also it may take a while, and Pancake Store may hang a bit as well. And on the next page, when you get this pop-up, tap on the Open option, and finally tap on the Install button. That's it. Now let's go back, and as you can see, the downgrading process has started immediately. Finally, when the process is complete, let's launch the app. As you can see, the video draft is still present here, which indicates that the data is restored successfully. And if I navigate to its settings app and scroll down, you can see that the app version is successfully downgraded to 1.89.0 without any data loss. And if I go to iOS settings, you can see that we have successfully downgraded from version 1.92.1 to version 1.89.0 with full data. Now to restore back to its latest version, simply head over to the App Store and locate the Target app and just tap on this icon here. This will again upgrade the Target app to its latest version. Now, few things to keep in mind. This may not work on all the apps. If server method do not work, then try the manual method. If you do not want to restore data, you have to uninstall the Target app first. It only works if you have installed it in the first place. And next, if you want to install Linux on an iOS device, watch my next video.